The defeat of Abdullah Yamin in the Maldives presidential elections on Sunday night and the victory of the Maldivian Democratic Party candidate Muhammad Ibrahim Soli or Ibu is the most important event in South Asian politics in recent months. Let me explain to you why. The Maldives is a tiny country, although it has 1400 islands and atolls in the Indian Ocean, but it has a tiny population, only about 400,000 people. 92% of these people went to the polls on Sunday night to defeat Abdullah Yamin. This is a huge, huge step, a huge win for democracy, and Abdullah Yamin should have known that his own people would have wanted to throw him out. We know that Yamin imposed emergency in the Maldives in February. He sacked several Supreme Court judges. He threw several politicians, including the former president, Abdul Gayoom, into jail. He didn't allow several political prisoners, like the former president, Mohammed Nasheed, to come back into the country. Despite all that, Yamin lost. Now, what is the importance of this election for the region? For China, this is a big blow because China threw in a lot of money, a lot of support for Abdullah Yamin. Only a few weeks ago, this huge, enormous bridge that connects the airport to the mainland, Mali, which is the capital of the Maldives, was built. If you look at the pictures, it's just this enormous, gigantic construction. India, on the other hand, played it very, very low key. They were not critical of the Maldivian president of Yamin openly, but behind the scenes, New Delhi is believed to have worked very closely with the Maldivian Democratic Party. What happens now? The government of India has congratulated the people of the Maldives for its democratic victory, but Delhi will continue to play this low key. It wants to keep the Maldives within its South Asian sphere of influence, but it doesn't want to unnecessarily antagonize China. Remember, this is an election year for the Narendra Modi government. Therefore, right now, everything is going to be kept on a very even keel. As for the people of the Maldives, Abdullah Yamin, the dictator, is out. The Democrats are back in. This is Jyoti Malhotra for The Print.